Well, Mandy, your birthday. I'm sorry United didn't give you the three points to wish you a happy birthday. All the fans, please wish you a happy birthday. Thank you very much. Uh, United, zero, Watford, two. Where did it go wrong? Um, from the very beginning, I think. Um, I don't know that there was much right in this game today. Um, we looked, what words can I say to not get leaked? We looked really rubbish. The first half was terrible, I'll tell you that. I mean, so sloppy. I think we completed more passes to the Watford team yes. than we completed to sloppy ourselves. Passes. So that was terrible. And I don't know, we just, I don't understand how we look really good on the ball at times, but then sometimes we look so, so weak on the ball. It's, it's amazing to me. Yeah, yeah. Now that United have lost to another small team, small team syndrome, you can't be Watford, can't be West Ham, can't be Newcastle, can't be Bournemouth, the list is endless. Today, United did have the chances, Lingard did have that chance, but... I mean, we, we had Lingard's chance and then we had um, Greenwood's chance, yes. same, same thing. And the way they were playing, uh, playing us, you know, parking the bus, that's the only chance we're going to get. We have right, to, to take finish the those chance. chances. And to lose to the absolute last team. team in the league, it's like, it is, it is a syndrome. And I don't really know what the answer is, but they might have to, you know, I don't know. They might have to do some hypnosis or something for the game. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not, won't be surprised. We might be need to hypnotize these guys whereby make them think the small team is the victim. Yeah. I mean, that's the only matches. answer. And I kind of am confused why we didn't make changes right at halftime. Right. I mean, I can't say for sure that that would have stopped, you know, the terrible, terrible miss by De Gea and then the goal to follow right after. But if we're playing so bad in the first half, why wait? You have to bench. You have people waiting. So we should just do that. We, uh, today was the first time we see Pokemon in four months. What do you think of his performance today? Um, I thought it went pretty well. I mean, he brought some energy. He had some vision. He was completing passes that we weren't completing earlier. But, you know, I'm still kind of, meh. We'll see. I'll be okay with the, um, with um, Pope in January if he stays. Right. On a scale of one to ten, what do you give the team performance today? Four. Considering they ruined your birthday. A negative four. A, ne oh, <laughs> a negative four out of ten. Oh, no, I'll take that. Uh, on, uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, his tactics, his, 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 his substitution, what do you give Ole today? Oh God, I mean, Ole, love you, but like a two, honestly. Come All right. on. Now. Um, the whole, the, was there anyone who was a man of the night for you today? If I say no, that sounds really, really harsh, but they did ruin my birthday, Tim. So no. I'm going to say, I don't know, I love Juan Bissaka on defense, but when he goes forward, it's like, oh, geez, there goes the ball, you know. Yeah. Don't put him, don't put him in the, in the box. It's right. like, no. So, I don't know. I'll say him. You give him uh, the, the man of the night. Right, Mandy, I'm sorry you're not going to bring your birthday, but... Still enjoy your birthday and Thank wish you Merry Christmas in the bank. We'll see you in our next game. Merry Christmas, everybody. Take care, self. Thank you very much. Boxing Day. That's 10, right. 10 1 United. <laughs>